convince Aunt Gloria that she should stick with you? Well, I think Aunt Gloria should take a look. I, I think it's a legitimate thing to be concerned about anyone's age, including mine. I think that's totally legitimate. But I think the best way to make the judgment is to, uh, to you know, watch me. You know, am I slowing up? Am I don't have the same pace as her? You know, uh, and that old joke, you know, uh, um, everybody talks about the, you know, the new 70s, 50s, and all that stuff. You know, I, you know, it could be, I, I'm a great respecter of fate. I could get a disease tomorrow. I could, you know, drop dead tomorrow. But I, you know, in terms of my energy level, in terms of how much I'm able to do, I think people should look and say, is he, does he still have the same passion for what he's doing? And if they think I do and I can do it, then that's fine. If they don't, then they should vote against me. Not against me, should encourage me not to go. But that's not how I feel. I can't even say the age I'm going to be. I can't even get it out of my mind. <laughs> Any restrictions on That's not all. I've warned about how this decision risks the broader right to privacy for everyone. There's a thing called the Ninth Amendment that says there's a right to privacy. That's how it was interpreted back then. God bless you all, and may God protect our troops. Thank you. I'm sorry. The right that I pushed hard and it finally got changed, the married couples in the privacy of the bedroom, excuse me, the mar I'm thinking about the Dobbs, the Dobbs decision. Imagine, well, I'll, I'll get to that in a second. If you get any questionable calls, please tell us by going to report fraud, report fraud, D-O-T-F-T-C dot gov. Very important thing I told my daughter and granddaughters: no serious guys in your 30s. Okay. Right? No what? No serious guys in your 30s. I'll keep that. Just imagine. I mean it sincerely. I say this as a father of a man who won the Broad Star, the Conspicuous Service Medal, and lost his life in Iraq. There's not a single nation in the world of major nation that wouldn't trade places with the President of the United States in a heartbeat. Not a no, not a joke. Think about it. And you're elected the highest ranking black Indian with Indian background woman in American history to be vice president. For one, I think that uh, we, uh, we began to... Uh, my grandfather, Finney Grimm Scranton, would really be proud of me right now. No, I'm not joking, he would. By the way, he's an all-American football player, John, in Santa Clara. The most common price of gas in America is $3.39, down from over $5 when I took office. And happy birthday, our great president. Uh, we know uh, your mom's always with you. I have not made that formal decision, but it's my intention, my intention to run again. And we have time to make that decision. Uh, Dr. Biden is for it. Mr. President. Oh, Dr. Biden thinks that... Uh, my wife thinks that uh, that I uh, that that we're that we're doing something very important. 